space, the final frontier. For more than 60 years, nations have competed to see who can be first to go where no one has gone before. The country that leaps ahead in the great space race gets bragging rights and so much more. The Soviet Union shocked the world when it launched Sputnik, the first satellite to orbit the Earth in 1957. And followed up with an even bolder feat in 1961, putting the first human in space, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. The Soviet successes, embarrassing for the United States, already in the throes of the Cold War with the USSR. Gagarin's accomplishment prompted U.S. President John F. Kennedy to famously declare his vision of putting a man on the moon before the end of the decade. That's one small step for man. And go to the moon they did, in what would be the defining moment that led to U.S. dominance in space exploration for more than 50 years. It may have been late to the game, but China is now hoping to change that as part of its 13th five-year plan that singles out space exploration as a top research priority. Under President Xi Jinping, Beijing has invested billions of dollars in its space program. And in 2016, Wu Yanhua, deputy chief of China's National Space Administration, declared, our overall goal is that by around 2030, China will be among the major space powers of the world. Now, just four years later, and fresh from the success of being the first nation to send a rover mission to the far side of the moon, China is looking to raise the competitive bar with its first mission to Mars. The scientific team behind China Tianwen-1, which means quest for heavenly truth, say their probe is different because it is, quote, going to orbit, land, and release a rover all on the very first try and coordinate observations with an orbiter. This is unlike NASA, which launches its Mars missions in stages and plans to send its seventh Mars mission later this month. If successful, China's Tianwen-1, NASA's Perseverance, and the United Arab Emirates' HOPE, the Arab world's first interplanetary mission, will all three reach the red planet in February 2021. And while scientists look to work together to uncover the planetary secrets of Mars, China and the U.S. have put their space programs into overdrive, signaling more competition between these rival superpowers, each hoping to pull off the biggest breakthrough in space exploration, such as putting a man or a woman on Mars, perhaps as early as the 2030s. Both hoping to be the first... To boldly go where no man has gone before. Ivan Watson, CNN, Hong Kong.